This is Jordan Tao with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Okay, so Alpo's killer, the man accused of kill, killing the former drug kingpin, was let out of jail. They let him out. They let him out, man. Uh, this happened, I think this happened a month ago, actually. It was just quiet as kept. But, you know, this is the crime scene where they shot up Alpo's truck. And you know what? I'm going to, you know, I might be wrong about this, but I'm going to just assume that Alpo's still alive. And they didn't really want to, like, dig into this case anymore and reveal anything. Man accuses of murdering former uh, Wilmington resident Alpo Martinez in New York in 2021. Was acquitted Tuesday in New York City. So this happened, like, oh, that happened yesterday. Um, or was that? No, 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 I'm sorry. This happened in July. Sorry. So it did happen about a month ago. Um, he was 30 years old. He was jailed uh, for two and a half years, charged with murder of the legendary drug, drug kingpin, who uh, spent five years as a federal witness program. So here's the thing. How do you just let him go? How are you just acquitted? Because you had a gun, obviously, right? Right? So, like, how does this? How does it just get acquitted, you know? The only thing that makes sense is that Alpo's still alive and they just don't want to draw too much attention. Now, why did this guy kill him or try to kill him? Because obviously he's probably still alive. And why would they still need him in the witness protection program? Like, what is he still providing? Makes no sense. How was he riding around in Rolls Royces? And have trucks and everything. I mean, he was paid as a federal witness, but I don't know if he was paid that much money. The whole thing is weird, you know? And it's like some big mystery that couldn't be uncovered. Now, Mano shouldn't feel so comfortable. Mano's on Vlad right now, talking spicy about Alpo still. He talked spicy about Alpo before he was let out, calling him a snitch, while he was out. And then I heard he was scared to death going around New York City once he saw Alpo was out and about in the city once he got let out. And then he was very relieved when he died and put up a, like a celebration post. I think you should still be worried because I think he's still out there, buddy. <laughs> um, Hurricane Chris still doing, he's doing interviews now talking about this 50 Cent thing and saying that 50 Cent should have found all the struggling artists that are very that have a lot of potential in Shreveport and put them on stage. What what do you 50 Cent is bringing a movie studio there. It's his event. He can do what he wants with it. What just cuz he chose Shreveport, he has to show love to the whole like he already had a bunch of New Orleans legends there. Hurricane Chris is mad cuz he wasn't invited. I like Hurricane Chris. Don't get me wrong. I'm not doing this to hate on Hurricane Chris. I just don't agree with him his stance on this and he'll probably tell me i just don't understand but i don't think he understands i think he's i think he wants too much i think he really just wanted to be there and that's okay i don't blame him i would have wanted to be included too especially if i was an artist um and that's about it for now we'll get to more news in a little bit this is jordan tower with jt news make sure you smash that like button smash that subscribe button. i'll check you guys in the next one peace Jordan, Jordan Tower, Jordan Tower. New, 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 new.